<laughs> well, he came but, back just in time for Wolf Sonic. Sonic, I feel like, had a very slight resurgence as of late. I'm kind of okay with it because the character's got a lot more than you'd think. At least in Ultimate. Now that everyone's, like, done trying to play him like he was in Smash 4 and looking at, like, other iterations of him, like from Brawl, and they're trying to integrate a lot of that into how his kit works here, he's pretty annoying, and he can brawl <laughs> with the best of them. Yeah, showing the nice follow-ups and good pressure. Like, his air to air game? Kind of nice, and that's going to help him a lot with keeping up the damage race against Wolf, especially Wolf Lemon's caliber. I, didn't know was, I did not know what was going to was gonna happen. That was pretty good. Lemon Street try to catch a jump right there. Now, what you said about Sonic could also be like applied to like other characters that people thought were like bad. Like people were like, "Oh no, man, this sucks." Yeah, that's like, another character that we're seeing a lot of, especially here in the city. You see a lot of them, and they're doing okay. And Rosa, I mean, you know, it's just a buzz right now. But like, he's put a lot, a lot of, of work character. to bring that character. It's just a matter of, once people put in the time, they figure out what their character can do and how they can tango in the meta. Like you'll start to see everyone pick it back up. Like, I feel like that's part of the course for a lot of fighting games when they have returning characters, but yes. because there's so many characters in Ultimate, it's just going to take a while for everyone to really find their footing. That being said, though, uh, Wolf immediately returned to the front lines in Ultimate. Lemon Seed being one of the premier representatives of the character here in Tri-State. I think one of tonight's sole New Jersey reps. Right. Um... A lot of like New Jersey players have like you know, good wolves around, like you know, like Jackal. Uh, I think yeah. Wishes plays a, a good wolf. Uh, I've he seen him play, it, but it's like Tweak. he's got a, he's got such a wide pool of characters. Same thing with Tweak. It's just like you see those two pick up a character, and you know some magic's gonna happen. But lemt has been faithful to this character. Yeah, they're the faithful wolves, and they're the pocket wolves. Yeah, <laughs> you see them at the tournament. <laughs> It's good. Sonic Force will be now Wolf Flesh? Okay. Character never ceases to amaze me. Sonic unfortunately lost his uh, shield cancels off of his spin dash charges, but this doesn't stop him from spinning. He doesn't mean he can't use it. It's definitely fortunate from my I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet peanut gallery. <laughs> you just a hater, Devin. <laughs> break his legs. Mans gets his squirtle back and all of a sudden thinks he's people back there. Yeah, Kirby man. <laughs> All right, jokes right. to Good on Lemon C, swinging on shield in the corner, working out really well for him, lets him pick off Sonic. Not any damage to really speak of. Lemon C's actually been doing a really good job of at least going trade for trade with Sonic, and when it comes to, like, a blow for blow trades, Wolf's always going to come out on top of that. He's always, always back to punch. He has the good buttons, that Nair, amazing, the back air, this merges you, mm -hmm. dash attack. Like, look at that. It's the old coin purse coming through. Especially on Stadium, like everything that Wolf does nets him so much stage control, and he's able to contest for the Platzer ledge so well. But he does suffer from the unfortunate of uh, spacey recovery, like right here. Oh, almost got killed. So if Kamex would be a little more patient and knowledgeable, he could probably like catch him with a quick two frame or something and get the lead right back. Yeah, because like. If, so if a Sonic remains reserved at the ledge, they have the oh, speed the and the tools to stop really any character. Just lock him down at the ledge for a long time, especially with a character like Wolf. Because, like, Wolf Fire, Wolf Flash, they all take a bit to start up. So, like, you're going to be able to react to that, especially with Sonic. It's just you don't want to trade with it. Though. Right, right. right. And the scooper right there. That mm -hmm. just goes 360, just picks you up very fast. Wolf does not care about cross-ups. He just cares about winning. Let me see taking a solid game one. Good play by Lemon T, showing off his uh, character strengths right there. Mans immediately took away Lilith and <laughs> does not want to deal with Town and City. Good stages. Forced into the run back to Stadium. I feel it's a fine choice for Kamex. Like, honestly, if he just remains a little bit more reserved and tries more for, like, a more whiff punish oriented game, I feel like he can at least stumble Lemon T enough to fight on even grounds. Because Wolf is honestly not going to chase you. He's going to wait for you to mess up. Yeah. Like, as good as that Nair is, it's got to it's gotta stop eventually, and Sonic can outrun it. And that is Nerf Blaster, too. So many pets are going to go. Yeah, that Blaster shot not is going to take a bit to get anywhere, and it's not going as far as it All right. Solid back here. He has to play like the same way he played on like stock one of game one, where he was just getting his follow-ups, knowing where he was gonna go. Uh, yeah, like here. 
Good tech. I feel like if Karis is just a little bit more like focused on how well he can like get in, do his damage, and peel, I think he'd be doing just fine because a lot of the points where Levin is getting his damage in is when Kamex is overextending. And True. Wolf is so good at being able to punish people who overextend. If they run out of their mo mobility resources, they don't have enough stage to escape to. Should I get the grab on the roll there, but misses. And that's the Oh! <laughs> Almost lost his life for that. <laughs> That, there you go. Oh, he, yeah, he's done he, so Yeah, he didn't know where to go. <laughs> Lost his jump right there, too. All right, Kamek's playing with the lead now. See, this is what I like to see. He's trying to bait in that approach. I don't like that he's trying to scoop with up air so much. It's not as reliable, especially while he's got a little bit of rage on him. But, like, the, the method is nice. It is. And using the spin dashes to catch the spot dodges, too, as well. Because it delays your approach. Right, right. delayed approach, you bait out whatever. Oh, that's unfortunate. Now 11T is like Against on the Sonic, verge of losing this game. Yeah, that's a heavy death stick. Because now Kamek's big chilling. He can just keep on playing this game. He can even cap harder if he wants to. Little hit and run never hurt no one. I'd, I'd cap hard right now, too. So... Yeah, Kamex is doing a good job in this game now because he, you know, he realizes that Wolf is spacey and he has an unfortunate time off stage. So he took advantage of that from stock one. Uh, Lemon T unfortunately misread the ledge, uh, the ledge grab from his up B in stock two. And now he has to play all this catch up. Yeah, this game two ran away from him so fast because of that, but a full stock deficit is doable for, for Wolf if Lemon T plays it patient. Unfortunately, he's finding himself in a lot more dangerous That's situations. That's frame on the foot. Like, <laughs> Let it rip on him. All right, get him out of here. <laughs> really set out. It's a good play by Kamex right there. Like, really strong adaptations. It, it was like, it was like one of those aha moments where it was like, once you get that first stock, it just it just starts like it just starts snowballing for you. Like, the, pu yes. the puzzle built itself for him, <laughs> but now. The honest is on Lemon C to try and rebuild himself, figure out where he faltered, see where he can try to not like Sonic run away. I like the idea of just keeping things at sea and no need to complicate matters. I feel like the stage works for Wolf as good as it does for Sonic. Yeah. It's not always about stages when it comes to like how you lost. It's more about like what did I do wrong in order to get my stocks not taken. Right, and given that Sonic is a, not as popular character, even if we start to see a few players cropping up in the Tri-State area, like, you still gotta feel your way around that matchup until you're confident enough with your buttons. It's just, interestingly enough, uh, I'd say Sonic could do okay in this match just too, if he, if he gets his hits first and then just runs away. Yeah! Like, like he did last game. But if you let Wolf get this, like, now you're just behind, now you're struggling, so you, like, get a hit in. You're dealing with these big normals. Look, Kamek's like, just trying to contest all these big buttons right in Lemon T's face. Meanwhile, Lemon T isn't pressured in any way. Like, he's free to swing, he's free to go for trades, and more often than not, at least at the start of Game 3, he's just been winning it out. He's just beating out every button. Sonic's bleeding here on first stock. Oh, nice. Very that good. was That was amazing coverage right there, because he rolled back in just to get the neutral get up. And walked forward a bit just to get the up smash off the roll read too. So if he would have got it normally, he would have got thrown. And he had enough time just to catch the roll recovery just to up smash. That was pretty good. Oh. Almost. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Sonic's Lemon T seems to have a pretty <laughs> firm idea of how Kamex gets off the ledge, and now he's placing himself really specifically, and it's leading to pretty big payoff for him. Full blunted. Side B right there, taking a good 16%. That was pretty good. Last hit in there, nothing. Uh, yeah, Sonic there kind of weird. It is. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, active. Right <laughs> at the end. <laughs> and it like comes out. Lemon T trying to close out the stock with a good dash Ooh. tag. Go. <laughs> uh, Alright, so. In this game, Kamex is doing a lot more of trying to go between the plats, and I feel like if he did that earlier, that would have worked out really well for him because Wolf doesn't really do too kindly from going ground to air and covering multiple layers of space. At least in the context of Sonic and how fast he is. 
But I feel like now it's too a little too late. Like, Lemon has such a strong lead here in Game it's 3. Kamek so doesn't really have the time to really point out any at this point. He has to, like, hit like, weird, like, shenanigans here just to get some stocks. Like, if Kamek is looking to stay alive, he's got to pop uh, off now. Throw him off stage. Trying to start something here. No too friends. See, when you're behind like this, like, going for Blaster, like, when you're, like, right at the ledge right there, I, I don't understand that, because you're just, you're just like, all right, now you just got to come to me. It's a way for you to mess up now. Yeah, let me see living the, the gun life now that he's got such a heavy lead. This handed wolf stock lead right here. He's like, oh, you're approaching me? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a <the> gun. <laughs> Yo, he trying to... He's really trying, dude. All Solid right. back off the jump. Now he's got to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Two times. It's like... It's such a difficult fight to fight because you're already, like, down such a heavy deficit. And Wolf so doesn't need that much more to kill. Turn around back air. Nice work by Lemon T. Get this composure. Got his leads in. Got his hits in. Just took it from him. Played it. He played it safe. And that's all he really needed to do. I do like how much Kamex was able to adapt within the first two games. But I feel like game three is a little bumpy for him. And Lemon T took complete advantage of that. Which is 